beautiful people welcome back to my channel today has been a great day so i decided to film and now we're just going to get started into the tutorial asap i'm starting off by priming my eyes with la girls pro conceal and i am setting this with kat von d locket translucent setting powder so that first color you just saw me point out was milk chocolate from my chocolate bar palette and I'm going to place this right above my crease and I'm going to build it up to my preference and as dark as I want it to. Now taking semi sweet I'm going to use that brush of course and I'm going to place this on the outer corner of my eye just to deepen my crease up a little bit. You want to take light strokes and also in circular motions just so you can blend it out and get the airbrushed effect. Now taking the shade Salted Caramel in my e.l.f. blending brush, I'm actually going to blend this and pack this color on my lid at the same time. Now you just see me going back over with the previous transition colors that I used because sometimes my lid color will transfer. Now going to the lid shades, I'm taking hazelnut and I'm going to pack this on my finger so I can pack it on my lid. And I'm going to do this more towards the outer corner of my lid so I can build a gradient from darker to lighter colors. Now taking marzipan, I think that's how you say it, which is a pretty rose gold color. I'm going to put this on the inner corner of my lid. And obviously, I'm still using my finger. Next, I went, just went back in with my transition colors a little bit more because you know guys, hooded eyes are... They're annoying. I, I don't even know. But I took my next color, which was a dark brown. You can use any dark brown you want. And I did this and put it in the corner of my eye again to deepen my crease. I am a firm believer of deepening my crease. Now, as you guys can see, I'm lining my eyes with my e.l.f. eyeliner. And I had to stop a little early because y'all not about to see me struggle with the eyeliner, baby. Because, whew, it takes me a couple tries. So I was really sitting there singing my little song, not even noticing that you can see my little ghetto background. Um, yeah, I was doing that to block the lights so my camera would focus, but I'm eventually gonna notice it, so don't judge me. Moving to the face, I am taking my Maybelline Matte Fit Me Foundation and I am just applying this all over my face. Oh, I just noticed it was showing. Um, like I was saying, I'm taking this and I'm putting it all over my face, guys. When applying foundation, hopefully you already know how to do this. You want to dab, not smear. If you're smearing, you're just going to wipe it around all over your face and it's not going to look like you did anything. So now I'm taking my same translucent powder that I used earlier to prime my eyes. I'm just setting my foundation because I get really oily and this really helps. Now to my favorite part of doing my face is highlighting. I am taking my LA Girls Pro Conceal in fine and I am putting this under my eye. I only take it up to the end of my eyeball, no further back because I have a round face and I don't want to make it any bigger than what it already is. Also, I'm putting this all over my T-zone and also on this under the sides of my contour line, right under the ears. So, I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. Using my favorite contour cream from Zuri, I am putting this on my contour line areas, on my forehead, on my jaw bones, my nose, well the size of my nose bridge, and right like on the outer sides of my cupid's bow. I don't think I did it while I was recording, but you do that anyways. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to blend this one out first. Make sure that your brush or your beauty blender is always wet when you blend because oh no baby what is you doing cuz that is not cute okay 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 anyways you're gonna blend upwards always bring your contour up where you don't want to make the little beard little look go on because that's what we not trying to do okay so you're just gonna blend this out to your liking I mean it's your face your face wow face it's your face you can do whatever you want to it but let's blend that out okay Repeating what I said previously, I do not take my highlight all the way out to my hairline. I stop right at the edge of my eyeballs and then I just continue blending and I also go down just below my nose to make a triangle shape. Taking a blush brush, I set immediately because my eyes have a habit of creasing really fast. 
No, I don't bake anymore. It's just kind of pointless to me after I saw how this works just the same. It saves a lot of time. It's like a dream. I'm holding you close, keeping me warm. Your kiss is ecstasy. Right now, I am slicing out my invisible cheekbones. I mean, I don't have them, so this makeup is going to make me look like I have them. I mean, you already know what's up. Okay, now look, if your parents didn't bump Josie while you were growing up, I honestly feel sorry for you because if forever my lady come on, I'm stopping everything that I am doing and I'm finna sing my heart and soul out. Like, this is not a game. After I went in and set the rest of the places that I highlighted, I took my ebony bronze bronzing powder from CoverGirl Queen and I put this all over the areas that I contoured earlier with my cream. Um, this just warms your face up and it also gives you a really warm, oh we already said warm. How many times I'ma say warm, okay? So this is just basically warming my face up one more time, okay? Who's gonna pop me? Um, I don't even know what I'm gonna say now. Oh, I guess I didn't think I blended, ooh. Oh, okay. I usually don't nose contour, but I did a little gr aggressive today. <laughs> I did that a little aggressive today. This is my favorite highlight. It's Ginger Snap from Black Radiance. That she got in the way again and I was just so frustrated. I was really done. But <laughs> now you see me setting my face with my e.l.f. setting spray. Um, this one works just as good as all the other ones, so don't sleep. Um, I accidentally ended up using a grape liner when I wanted it to be brown, but oh well. And I used a lip gloss from my Sephora Geometric Palette. I mean, that thing was too big to be lifting up, so I'm going to just tell y'all. So that concludes my video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for your girl. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that. I'm not a very big fan of lipstick. I just wanted to show you guys how I would normally rock this look or any other. Um, I'm really simple with my makeup and I'm not extra all the time. Let's just say it like that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next Slay Day.